No way. What? That's the car from the Ghostbusters. Huh? How come you don't drive anything that cool? It is not cool. It is not cool at all. Well done, Sunderland. You've gone and hired the most pompous, insufferable twit in the industry. I can see that. That's why we hired the other guy. Hey! Do my eyes deceive me? Is that James Hunter I see? Kill me now. Preston Connors was an unbearable oaf who sullied whatever little respect remained for those who investigated the supernatural. He was a rotund man whose expansive belly stretched his beige overalls to their limit. He claimed to be more high-tech than other ghost hunters, though I'd never been able to verify that a single one of his contraptions actually worked. He was as great a showman as Barnum himself, putting on airs and graces to cash in on convention appearances and poorly written books. His greatest flaw, however, was his inability to accept any form of criticism, to which he reacted like a sulking teenager. I never dreamed, in all my lucid dreams, that I'd be involved in another case with you, Jamison. Word on the grapevine was you'd hung up your K2 meters for good and vanished off the face of the earth. What are the odds that you and I would meet in this place at this time? Clearly not low enough. Oh, you old so-and-so. Everything happens for a reason, I always say. The universe obviously felt that you were in need, and so sent me to help. I think that was more to do with Mrs. Sunderland finding you on Google, actually. And who are these two hobgoblins? New partners in crime, I see. Abigail Corbin, pleased to meet you. And I'm Dan Cal. Spiffing. Call me Connors. Preston Connors. The paranormal hunter for the new generation. If there's a ghost on the loose, I'll find it. Oh no, this can't be. What? I'm out of whiskey. So, how do you two know one another? Well, we've crossed paths a few times, haven't we, old chap, eh? <laughs> you used to work with old... Uh, what's his name, didn't you? Whatever happened to him? We went our separate ways. Ah, yes. Always an odd fellow, him. Bit on the intense side. Not that you're exactly a puppy yourself, eh, Jamison? <laughs> you see, he's always been a bit of a ghost at the feast. Maybe I'm still trapped in the prism. That would explain this personal hell. Say, did you hear what happened to Dr. Robson? Torn apart by werewolves, they say. Who? Who says that? He was in a car accident. That's what they want you to think. 